that it's the hard, hardest person to get you to bed. Is what I was All right, so take your knees as wide as your mat, and you know you can elevate your hips high on something. Oh, it's so weird. In the screen, it looks like Debbie and Rose Bergy are in the same room. Um, I was like, wait, who's visiting? Um, open your knees wide, and then just go ahead and let your arms rest on your blocks. Outstretched a little bit, or, um, oh my goodness, I think I've turned off before. Uh, or letting them rest completely on the blocks. And or, if you prefer to have your head resting on the block, you can do that as well. And of course, if you have your three, four blocks, which I know I have, but I don't expect you all to have, it's fine. You can do a lot of the above. And just, you know, give a little space um, to the chest area. And I apologize if you hear me um, a little stuffy and sniffly. I don't need to, but it is what it is. And just let your belly soften and allow your back to um, stretch apart from side to side. That kind of sounds bad, stretch apart, but allow your breath to stretch from side to side in your back, in your ribs, in your shoulders. And just find a a few moments of stillness and, and uh, tap into that for a few moments. Today, I think it's in the morning, but we're celebrating it today, is the winter solstice. So practice some warming movements in your own body today as well. The winter solstice, so tonight will be the longest night of the year. The good news is starting tomorrow, the nights get shorter. <laughs> Happy winter to everybody. Walk your hands over, and then you can take the blocks with you, or just one block, and move over to the right side. Breathe to the left side of your body, relax your shoulders down. Let your belly soften again between your thighs. And send the breath to the left side, more to the left side of the body. Now, keep your left hand on and bring your right arm underneath your left. Let the back of the head reach towards the floor. It may or may not reach. And it's fine. And just get a little bit more twist and a little bit more release in the shoulders. Take another breath. Good from where you are. If you have to move your block, move it over to the other side. Both arms to the left side. Right side of your body long. Look under your right arm. Relax the shoulder down away from the ears. Breathe down the right side body. Keep your right arm where it is. Take your left arm underneath your right. Turn the palm up. Let your head rest towards the floor. And then just breathe. Good. And now come back to the center. You can leave the box off for a moment. Reach your arms out in front of you. And come up onto your hands and knees. Uh, forearms and knees, excuse me. So your um, elbows are under your shoulders, your knees are under your hips. Drop your belly and arch your back. So a little bit of a cat-cow here. Spread your fingers. And as you exhale, press the arms straight. Bring the chin and chest together. So when you're in an extended spine, the elbows are on the floor. Come down with your arms. It's kind of like a, a push-up, but not really in, in, that, in, in that vein. Around the back as you come up. Pull the belly into the spine, and inhale, lower the arms, drop the belly, arch the back. Exhale, just press through your palms and reach up, lift up, chin to chest. Inhale, arch your back, drop your belly, arms down. Exhale, round your spine, stay around your spine here. Once again, well, that's my neutral. Take your right arm underneath to your left side. Left arm out in front of you. Turn your head to the left side. Draw your hips towards the right side more, or towards the middle, as opposed to swinging it out to the left side. So keep drawing your hips to center. Stay with this, or take your left arm behind your back, and some of you will bind into the inside of the right leg as you twist up. Breathing in and out. One more breath. 
Come back to center. Left arm forward. Right arm forward. Puppy dog. Keep your hips lifted. And take your left arm underneath your right. Back of the head down to the floor. Reach your right arm forward. Left arm down. And then stay with that or take the right arm behind your back. Interlace underneath your thighs or just around the back of your shirt even. Just a nice opening. Maybe it's too much and you go a little shallower for your right shoulder. Little breath. Release the arm. Release both arms back to the front. Hips up. Chest down. And once again, lower the forearms to the floor. Shift forward. Step back into a plank on your forearms. So if you want to come to the floor row, you can. Elbows on your shoulders. Pull your collarbones through. Lower your hips. Open your legs. And come into a, um, some people call this a seal with a wider leg. Elbows under shoulders, about the width of a block or the width of your shoulders. Lift your belly button up and lift your pelvic floor up. And rest right below your two hip bones and above your pubic bones. This is a little triangular space. Take another breath. When you empty the breath, if you want, straighten your arms and bring your chin down. Inhale, lower your arms, lift your heart up. Exhale, arms come up, chin comes down, shoulders back. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, arms down, or hands up, elbows up, chin arms down, chin down. And then come back to your forearms. And then just turn your hands in, make a pillow for your head, and rest your head on the arms, and turn your toes in, pigeon toe, and just Sway your hips from side to side. Turn over onto your, um, I'm gonna go on my left side. If you wanna be facing any particular direction then turn onto the other side, it doesn't matter. So turn onto your, my side is left. You can be with me, unless it, you know, you wanna face the camera for some reason. Left arm out in front of you. Legs straight out. Float your top leg up without hip height. Doesn't have to be too far. And then in a straight line, bring it back behind you. Touch the toes to the floor. Lift your leg up. And bring it back to the center and down. So lift up your top leg, line it up with the hip and lengthen out of the hip. In a straight line, just draw it back so there's a little bit of glute squeezing going on here. Lower the foot, the, uh, bring the foot back to the center and lower it down. So just glide it in a line. Lift it up, lean it back, bring it out, and bring it down. Just a couple more times like that. Just engaging your glutes here, squeeze tight, come back and lower down. And this time, when you lift your leg up behind you, Bend the knee and place it on the floor. And you're gonna roll a little bit towards the right side. So you're gonna open up that left hip a little bit and stretch your right arm over your head. And just reach. You're gonna do that. Come on back to center, release the right arm back down. And take your, come up to your forearm for a moment. Take your right knee, or whatever is your top leg. And you can hold on anywhere and see if you can stretch the leg in the air. We'll do like, it's like Jane Fonda. Lift the top leg up. Rest, I know if your hip bones are feeling it underneath you, just double up your mat. Lift up, lift up. Oh, very nice, good. And then bring that leg in front of you. If you want, you can bring the knee down and just get a nice stretch across your outer hip and twist. But you can put your hand on your hip and twist a little bit more to the right. You can also bend your bottom leg and reach for it with your right hand. 
you know, a quad stretch on the bottom leg. Not, not something we do all that often, unfortunately, we should. We do it standing, we do it kneeling. If you're holding your bottom leg, let it go. And then bend both knees, come back up, sit up, bring the bottom leg to the inner thigh of the right leg. Take your left arm, so um, again, I'm on my left side. Left hand is, um, left foot is on the inside of my right thigh. Left arm on the floor, lift up and over to the left side. And then come back up, just lean to the right side. Left arm on the floor, lift up and over. Come back up to the right side, call this mermaid. And then come over to your left side. Take your right hand, turn around, bring both hands to the left side of the mat, and push your arms forward and your hips back. Now this is a stretch I do every single time I get on the reformer. It feels so good to that outer hip and torso. Relax the neck and shoulders. Inhale, walk your hands back in. And just come on to the other side. You can face the same side of the room or switch to yourself. Lie down, shoulders, hips, knees, ankles. Lay down on your, your arm. And just um, level out your hips so they're on, one on top of the other. Lift your left leg up or top leg up. Flex the foot, the hip height. Bring it back behind you. So there's a little bit of, a little bit of leaning forward, a little bit of glute squeezing, a little bit of ab squeezing. Come back to the center and lower it down. Lift it up, hip height. Straight line, draw it back while you're making faces. Come back in and lower it down. You got three of those. So it's very controlled, very slow, easy. Come back to center, lower it down. Two more. Lift up, lengthen out of your hip. Reach it back. And one more time, lift it up. This time you're gonna hold it back and bend your knee behind you. You're gonna lean a little bit off of your right hip. Good, breathe. You compress the knee open, feels good. And then come up to your forearm. I forgot what I did. <laughs> Bring the knee to the chest as well and stretch your left leg or top leg in the air. Try to lift out of your bottom side body here. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Now if you'd like to, you can bend the bottom leg, bring the knee to the chest, and you can grab it back as you bring the leg forward. The leg forward can be on the foot or down, and then some of you might grab the bottom leg and just open up. If you're holding the back leg, just let it go. Give a little bit more twist to the left side. And then as you come to sitting, you're going to bring your right leg into the center. Left leg bends behind you. Mermaid pose. Right arm to the side, left arm up and over. Inhale, come up and go to the other side. And keep going a couple times. One more time. Stay lifted on the bottom side of your body. Come back up, over to the right side. Left arm spins around. Walk your hands forward and push your hips back. You may come all the way down, you may stay part of the way up. Keep pushing back through your left hip. Inhale. One more time, walk back in, turn it up, and come around and turn to the long side of your mat so that your feet are about as wide as your mat and turn the toes out. Half blocks if you have blocks or a ball nearby, and lay down on your back. So <clears throat> first bring your right knee to your chest, so your hips are down. Right leg is to the chest. If you're wearing sneakers and you don't want to hold on to the bottom of your sneaker, just hold on wherever you are. 
pull your right knee towards your right shoulder on the outside of your rib cage. Left hand on your left hip. Stretch your left leg straight only if that is okay for your back. Flex your foot so the foot is imprinted to the ceiling. And draw evenly down towards your right side and long in your left side. Half a happy baby pose. Breathe in. And as you empty the breath, see if you can bring the knee a little bit closer. It's going to move more energetically than probably physically at this point. Good. Inhale, come back, bend your left knee. Take your right foot, let it come down to the floor, and now turn your knees towards each other. You can put your hands on your hips or outside of your hips to kind of massage them and feel better. And then come back to opening up the legs. Left knee bends, hold on to the foot or wherever you're holding. Bend the left knee towards the left shoulder. Keep both hips level so you don't want to be rolling over to your left side. Right hand on your right hip. And then if it feels okay for you, stretch it out, stretch it out. And keep pulling down with that left hand, left foot outside. Don't roll onto your back. Keep your right hip down. So stay as level as you can. Breathe in, breathe out. One more huge breath. Bend your right knee, put the foot back on the floor, release your left leg, and let your knees come in towards each other. Now, just move your knees, both of them, over to the right side. Take your right foot on top of your left thigh. Walk your left foot more to the left side. <clears throat> Send your right arm overhead. Send your left arm overhead. So there might be an arch in your back, um, hopefully not too extreme, as you draw your rib cage down towards your hips. <clears throat> really great stretch here on the left leg of the IT band. Breathe in, breathe out. Open your knee, your arms, excuse me, to a T, palms up. Keep your right ankle crossed. Come back to center. Left leg comes down. Figure four with your right leg. Push your right ankle towards your left knee so it's going to open the right knee a little bit wider. Without using your hands, you don't have to use your hands. Now, we're going to shift the hips a little right. Put the right foot on the floor to the left. Put the left hand to the inside of the right thigh and press it forward. So your knee is not coming down, it stays in the air. And you're using your left hand to give a little more space in the right hand. Take another breath. And then empty the breath, release the arm, and have both legs come over to the left side. Now the knee comes towards the floor. Spinal twist. Take your hands behind your head, elbows out to the side. Lift up your head and shoulders. Lower your head and shoulders. Lift up your head and shoulders. Lower your head and shoulders. Let's do a few more of those. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and pause. See if you can lift a little higher from the floor. More of your right shoulder will lift than your left for most of us. And then lower your head, lower your arms, uncross your legs, bring your knees to your chest. Hug your knees all the way up and in. Release the lower back. And then take your feet back to the floor as wide as the mat. Lower both legs over to the left side. Is this the right side, correct side? Left ankle on top of the right knee. Right foot moves to the right side. Left arm comes overhead. Right arm comes overhead. Again, there might be an arch in your back. Don't accentuate it. 
See if you can keep drawing the rib cage down a little bit. Breathe in and out. Couple more breaths. The more you hold this posture, the more you should feel your body kind of release into it. Keep the, uh, let's bring the arms up, shoulder height, palms up. Come back to the center. Bend your right knee on the floor, right foot on the floor. Left foot, ankle over the knee, and press the knee away with pressure against the ankle. You can try. See if you can do it without your hands. Right? We do it all the time with our hands. See how much work you can accomplish without the assistance of the hands. Sometimes that's a, an interesting option. Keep that action of the leg against the leg. As you draw your legs over to the right side, left foot comes down on the floor, and you're pushing your left knee away. You can use your hand here if you want, just to activate it a little bit. So the knee, the foot is on the floor, the knee is up to the sky. A little bit different than what we're gonna do with the two breaths. And then go ahead and take your left leg all the way across for a spinal twist. Interlace your hands behind your head, the other finger on top, elbows out to the side. Inhale. Exhale, lift your head and shoulders up to the center. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift up to the center. Inhale, lower down. Three more. Exhale, lift up to the center. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift to the center. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift to the center and hold. Not your breath, just your pose. A little bit higher. And lower your head. Uncross your legs, hug your knees to your chest. Full happy baby, two feet up in the air. Hold on to the outside of the feet, the knees, the thighs. Tailbone resting on the floor. Bring your knees on the outside of your rib cage towards your shoulders. Draw down so the energy draws down and the tailbone draws down. Breathe in, breathe out. And then if you want to still hold on to your legs, you can do that. Great. If not, you're going to open up your legs and bring your arms wherever you can, except your knees. And again, the tailbone is resting on the floor, so you're in a straddle. Open up your hips outwardly. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. If you're holding onto your feet, let go. Bring your hands in prayer in the middle of your legs. Lift your head and shoulders up. And pulse from here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold out your breath. Lift your legs to the sky, reach your arms to your feet. Put your hands back behind your head. Lift your hips up off the floor. Lift a little higher with your head. Bring your feet together, Michelle. Legs together, yeah, there you go. Lift up a little higher with your head, your torso, your hips. Three, two, and one. Knees in. Put your feet down, move your hips right. Both knees fall over to the left side one more time. A little bit higher up with your legs, so a little bit more um, stretches with the lower back there. Inhale, draw yourself to center. Exhale, shift your hips left, let your knees come over to the right. Twist as high up as you'd like them to go. back to center. Hands on your shins, ankles, thighs, chin to chest, round the curl. And start to roll like a ball without kicking your legs to come up to sitting. Take the soles of your feet together, wide away from you. Have a block or a series of blocks right in between your two legs. Oops. Well, then you should be able to see me. Yeah, we're going to be done in one.
one second. Okay, so bring the soles of your feet together with the block if you want to use a glove in between your legs. Take your head onto the block. Take your hands inside of your legs and out and around and fold over. Pull the belly in and just hang here. Relax your shoulders. Give it a big breath. So just kind of let go. Not kind of let go, let go. Don't try to force anything to happen here. Just try to let gravity do its job. Keep you grounded. Relax the neck and shoulders. Pull the belly and let go. The arch spine just went round or wherever it naturally goes. Take five breaths. Just five breaths there. You can hang in there for that. And then we'll let you all go. A breath is a full breath is inhale, exhale. Two more breaths. One more breath. Slowly bow yourselves up. Take your blocks off to the side. Bend your knees, bring your hands behind you. Roll side to side. Come back and pull yourself to a standing forward bend. Take your arms up behind your back, head down, arms up. Bend the knees as much as you want or need. Shake out the tension in your neck, yes or no. And then tuck your chin into your chest. Roll up to standing. Stretch your arms overhead. Interlace the other finger on top, lift up. Exhale, lean to the right. Inhale, come up, and exhale, lean to the left. Inhale, come up. Open up your arms like a big cactus. And wrap your arms around you, out of the back. Hopefully, you have a little bit of relief through your low back hips right now. Stay home, stay home, stay back, stay healthy. I'm glad you liked it.